What are we expecting this week? Yeah, so Weibo and Bilibili are going to report earnings this week. For Weibo, the fourth quarter losses may narrow because advertisement businesses can benefit from the holiday sales and also activities like the World Cup. But for both companies, they may need to wait until later this year to see a solid rebound because it takes time for the consumer sentiments to recover. So overall, Chinese tech valuations is normalizing, especially now we are talking talking about a potential interest rate hike. Chadium may want to reassess the valuation in emerging market. So earnings will remain a focus because reopening trades are obviously fading away. That reopening momentum doesn't seem strong enough at this point to support strong earnings. What's the kind of dynamic there and do we see an improvement? Yeah, so if you remember what happened last year, China abruptly abandoned its COVID zero policy and there was a sharp increase in cases across the countries. So companies like Budweiser may face pressure because it will affect the consumer market like the beer businesses. Yiwi Maker Neo cannot meet the fourth quarter delivery target because of the outbreak. Many workers were on sick leave, so it affected the production. So now we are start seeing the impacts on companies' earnings from the reopening U-turn. And Felix, we saw a lot of pressure on Chinese ADRs last week on fears of this price war, whether it's Baidu or PDD. Um, what are we seeing in terms of domestic competition and is it affecting particular sectors like tech more so than others? Yeah, that's right. So in addition to the walkie start to the reopening we just mentioned, so post-COVID competition in domestic market is also very intense. Like Kiwi sector, Tesla cut its price on its model in China, and many automakers follow the move. So Chinese EV maker may face a deterioration in cash flow and also uh, the profit because of the price competitions. So firms like Li Auto and also Neo, which are going to report earnings this week, may see a negative cash flow this year because of the price war, rising medium costs, and also the cut in government subsidies.